perfect description of what a Gaussian sum is. It's a very important mathematical term, although very, not a lot of people have heard of it. And basically the idea is that it's the sum, this is just a symbol, symbol for the sum of remainders by something called roots of unity. I grew up on a farm, so like I, growing up, my, we were all encouraged to work hard at school and we were all good at maths. Gaussian sums are incredibly useful. Like they are, they pop up in an awful lot of places. They pop up in cryptography, which is all about hiding material and, and keeping our, say, our credit card safe on the internet. And they also appear to a lesser extent in coding theory. So how our CDs work or digital TV or mobile phones. He's definitely top five all time mathematicians, Gauss. He's a lot of people's number one, the best mathematician there ever was and he worked out quadratics and cubics and they ignored his method for higher powers because they thought it, everything got too complicated. There are loads and loads of equations that need to be solved and find solutions and it seems to get very complicated, but it actually doesn't. It's just looking at, it's like everything else in life, you just have to look at it from a slightly different point of view and suddenly, oh, it makes sense. So what I've done in my research with my supervisor is shown that actually Gauss's original method, which he used Two, over 200 years ago is actually the correct method that will work for every single possible one. For about 180 years they ignored his approach basically because they reckoned it didn't give you every one but we've actually shown that it does. Maybe if I'm really lucky in 100 years or in two weeks or in a thousand years it might be exactly what somebody needs to do some really wacky thing that we couldn't even imagine at the moment. Gaussian sums are, are used not exclusively, but they are used to, in tests for checking for prime numbers. Prime numbers are essential to internet security and everything, banking and everything like that, prime numbers. The person who's using the system has these prime numbers that none of the rest of us know what they are, and they are the key. They can bring any information that we want to send them, and they can figure out what our credit card number is, and they're the people that are supposed to be doing this. They're supposed to know it. But the people that are hacking are the people that are not supposed to know, and if they had some ability of checking if numbers were prime very, very quickly, then that could be a huge problem. The likelihood, who knows, the likelihood of this happening is, is slim, but if it can be used to make everything more secure, it can, at this very same time, it can be used to make everything more insecure. I grew up playing football and played Gaelic football until kind of relatively recently. I just have had a lot of injuries, so I kind of had to quit that, but I play a lot of soccer as much as I can. I, I'm at the very baby stages of doing podcasting, but something called screencasting. Like I lecture some courses, but I run the math support center in minutes. So the whole idea is that you're trying to teach mathematics to students who are struggling a little bit for whatever reason. I think everybody has a, an ability to do maths.